I've been working at Blue Stockings for four years now. It's really incredible the amount of things that all of us, I think, have been able to do here. I would describe my role as social worker owner and also zine coordinator. Um, so I do what's called macro practice social work, which is working with organizations and communities rather than individuals and families. I also identify as an abolitionist social worker, meaning that I work against the systems that most social workers work within. I have three primary roles. The first one is uh, cafe operations, but also you know creating our menu, expanding our menu, uh, expanding our offerings, sourcing our uh, our ingredients, our products, our baked goods. My second role at the store is building out our community spaces um, and making sure that they're safe, accessible. So that includes our ground level cafe area and our basement, which uh, we hope will be ready in the new year. Hosting meetings and book clubs and other fun things um, in person. The third uh, role that I have at the store is um, events. So I'm now part of the events team. Um, and we are working to figure out how to uh, move into 2022 with a hybrid of virtual events and in-person events um, and how to do that safely. I run most of our social media, our Instagram, our TikTok, our Facebook, and I help a little bit with book buying. Um, I know it sounds a little bit trivial, but it really does take up a lot of time, uh, especially over the last year. Almost everything we did was online. We weren't able to be in our physical location. The internet was the way that we connected with people. It was our online fundraiser that allowed us to move to this new location and keep our doors open by the skin of our teeth. To contribute to a space like Blue Stockings that is very explicitly a leftist space, a queer space, um, and an activist space on top of being a bookstore, on top of being an event space. I think there is nothing like Blue Stockings in New York, and there's very few places like it anywhere else, which I think is, um, you know, a testament to the kind of work that we do here. Being in a space together, sharing space, is really important for community building. We've already started doing more harm reduction programming. We are an opioid overdose prevention program registered with the city. We um, train people in how to dispense Narcan. Most days I'm in the store receiving and shelving books and giving out book recommendations and brewing coffee and training groups that come in on the lock zone, giving out functional test strips, making sure our mutual aid shelves are full, unclogging the toilet when it needs unclogging. We share all of this work. Um, it was me and my lovely coworker owners who painted these floors, who framed and put up these posters, who bought the chains that go on the sidewalk signs. <laughs> it's, there's always a million little tasks to be doing and I'm so happy that I get to be doing it with these people, but there's so few of us. We're staffed at about two thirds of what we would need to be staffed at to be operating fully, doing all the things we want to do without driving ourselves so fucking crazy. So bringing on more worker owners and prioritizing trans women and femmes of color in that process. I think it's really important to identify this space as not just another bookstore, not just another coffee shop, cafe, um, but this is a place where you don't have to spend money to exist. As somebody who's experienced employment discrimination, who has struggled in other jobs because of mental illness, um, somebody who's a sex worker and doesn't love it, um, what options are there? What options can we create? And can we do it in a way that could be replicated? If we had more funding. I could afford to only have to do one job as opposed to doing like three different jobs right now. The pandemic has hit us really hard. We've uh, had to go through a move. We, you know, restructured as a worker co-op. There aren't that many spaces like Blue Stockings. It takes so much work and money and effort. There are seven of us. We are all pulling so much. Imagine what we could do if we were not understaffed. People can organize here, people can have union meetings here, people are, you know, 
setting the foundations for so much work that a lot of what we do here at Blue Stockings is facilitating so many people's important work. Being able to have that space just for a few minutes, just for a few hours in a day, I think it means so much. Thanks again for all of your support, for supporting independent bookstores and for supporting worker-owned uh, cooperatives.